Hi, I'm back today. I am going to do a bookshelf tour, or bookcase tour, I always say bookshelf, a bookcase tour. Um, these are some YA books and then just random other books that I really don't put into a category. Um, if anybody can think of a category for me to put them in, please let me know. All right, here we go. Okay. This is one shelf that's actually in my front room next door, next door, next to my uh, recliner here, which is with my lamp. It's my re little reading nook. Um, first book I have over here is A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks. Then Smack by Melvin Burgess. All these I still have to read. The Queen of Everything by Deb Coletti. Still Alice by Lisa Genova. The Lovely Bones by Alice Sebold. I actually seen the movie, but I haven't read the book yet. Um, Sticky Fingers by Nikki Burnham. Then I have The Girl Who Stopped Swimming by Jocelyn Jackson. My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult. The Day My Mother Left by Prozac. Um, let me see who this was by. James Prozac. Um, Covenant Child by Terry Blackstock. Promise Not to Tell by Jennifer McMahon. Breaking Her Fall by Stephen Goodwin. The Death and Life of Charlie St. Cloud by Ben Sherwood. I was very excited when they found that at Goodwill for 50 cents. Um, I think it was 50 cents. There might have been a dollar that day. I don't remember. I was very excited. Um, the Guardian by Nicholas Sparks. Uh, the Gift of Jazzy by Cindy Adams. And the next shelf I have... Everything's really stuffed in here. Uh, Degrees of Guilt by Dandy Daly McCall. Um, oh, I'm sorry, that's my dog over there. You probably want to see the book. <laughs> and um, this is actually, um, there's three different sides to the story. So this is Kyra's story. And then you'd have to buy two other books to get the other sides of the story. Um, How to Teach Filthy Rich Girls by Zoe Dean. A Million Little Pieces by James Fry. Uh, the Memory Keeper's Daughter by Kim Edwards, Beautiful Lies by Lisa Unger, Sarah's Key by Tatiana de Rosne, Dream Side by Graham Joyce, Luna by some Peters, um, Julie M. Peters, Black and Blue by Anna Quinlan, uh, The Memory of Running by Rob McLarty, A Painted House by John Grisham, Bleed by Lori Feria Stolars, I Know This Much Is True by Wally Lamb, The Almost Moon by Alice Sebold, White Oleander by Janet Fitch, and then the last shelf, I have The Hunger Games by um, Suzanne Collins. I have Night World Volume 1 um, by L.J. Smith. I have, oh, let's see, everything's falling. I have Stealing Love, Confessions of a Dog Napper by Mary A. Fisher. Uh, Dark, to Mortal, Dark to Mortal Eyes by Eric Wilson. House by uh, Frank Peretti and Ted Decker. Mistaken Identity by Van Ryn, uh, Don and Susie Van Ryn and Newell Colleen and Whitney Sarek. The Deep End of the Ocean by Jacqueline Mitchard. That was a good movie. Confessions of an Heiress, Paris Hilton. I just got it because it was like 75 cents and I liked the cover and I don't know. Present Value by Sabin Willett. Guitar Girl by Sarah Manning. Uh, the Mediator, The Sixth One by Meg Cabot. Requiem for a Dream by Hulbert Selby Jr. Left Behind, Volume 1 and 4. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. Girls and Trucks by Katie Crouch. The Awakening by Angela Hunt. Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert, which I might be putting that up on Goodreads. Uh, Sunday at Tiffany's by James Patterson. Wicked by Gregory Maguire. And the last one on the shelf I have is the second 
Summer of the Sisterhood by Ian Brashears. Brashears. Um, I might be putting that one up there too. So a lot of these books I bought, I really liked them uh, when I bought them, but they are usually, you know, everything was under a buck. I think I got a little carried away at the beginning. So, but that is this bookcase. Everything I have in there. All right. Anyways, I thank all my subscribers and I thank you for watching this video. And if you haven't, please do subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know. Oh, and I got this t-shirt. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see that, but it says, uh, only vampires can love you forever. I'm a big vampire fan. So anyways, um, until next time, take care.